Um, any other questions about nausea and vomiting before we sum up and then have a little bit of Q&A? Uh, yeah. Yes, do please. Always, do we always admit them? Like what if somebody is vomiting and you're giving a pill and you vomit, but do you tell them to retake the dose or should you first admit them give an IV? So that's a good question. It would depend on the setting and it would depend on their underlying disease. So I don't think there would be, I think some places that maybe have uh, more services in the outpatient clinic, they're able to say, come back in a few hours. Um, that can sometimes be appropriate. So I don't think I could give a clear answer on when it's necessary to admit or not admit. I could tell you what we do at Boston, but that's not going to be the same as what it was in Rwanda or Uganda or Jamaica. And I don't know what um, sort of things are there. Um, but I would say in general, um, if they're, you know, their fluid status is okay. Um, you think, I, I think attempting to do it outpatient initially, um, it makes sense. But if they absolutely cannot keep any medications down, now they're missing other doses and they're not able to swallow their antiemetic medication, um, that potentially could be a reason that they have to be admitted. Um, we sometimes have some medications that can be dissolved. So Zofran or Odanzatron, for example, there's a, a, a version of it that you can just put on the tongue and it's dissolved so they don't have to swallow it. Do you have access to that medication? I don't think so. Yeah, it's, I, I haven't seen it in many places outside of the US. Um, so that's another potential option that can sometimes be helpful. Um, there's also another antipsychotic called olanzapine that we'll use in the US a lot. It's similar to Haldol, um, but it also hits a number of other receptors and they have a dissolving tablet that we will sometimes use that could be used in the outpatient setting of a patient that can't swallow. Um, but in general, I think attempting sort of a trial of um, getting them to swallow, and if ultimately they can't keep things down, they're becoming dehydrated, that's absolutely an indication for admission, especially for our cancer patients, and they get admitted here for that all the time. Any other questions for nausea and vomiting?